Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed your day. I went to the National Harbor and I ate at Bond 45 and I went shopping um, at Charming Charlie's and bought this ring today. It's kind of fun. I don't really wear big rings, but you know, it was like six bucks. I was like, why not? But anyway, today I'm going to talk about um, face, facial um, cleansing and moisturizing. I found this product in Whole Foods. As you know, if you haven't heard, parabens have been found in cancer and it's in a lot of products, so I try to stay away from those um, products with parabens and sulfates in them. And I found this product um, by a company called Alba. And it's, uh, what is it called? It is hyperallergenic, paraben-free, and it's not animal tested and a hundred percent vegetarian and before I start on the Alba I want to talk about Swanson's Ultra Tea Tree Facial Cleanser it has no parabens in it it's very gentle and you know tea tree if you heard is like an astringent it's really nice unless I'm wrong let me know below um, it has leaf extract, um, lemon lavender extract, um, rosemary, oregano, and uses twice daily. It it's really cleared up my face. It's really nice, and it's, I've been using this a lot. It doesn't even have a strong tea tree smell. It's kind of lemony, so I can see what the lemon is. Um, Go check it out. It's Swanson Tea Tree Oil. And it, it's, um, I've had other cleansers, but they didn't feel look good on my face. And this one really helps. It says it's, um, tea tree oil. It's pure, pure cleansing and nourishing oil is among the world's most revered natural aids for beauty and hygiene. Use daily for a naturally fresh and clean feeling that shows. So I do recommend tea tree oil facial cleanser. Now back to um, Alba products. They're 100, like I said before, they're 100% vegetarian. They're paraben free. Remember, paraben has been found in cancer. And they, a lot of people suggest to stay away from it. So I'm slowly trying to clear up my products away from there. And... I use, after I use, um, well I don't, uh, the facial tree tree oil, I, uh, once or twice a week use this, um, sea algae enzyme facial scrub, and it's, it really is gently, does gently exfoliate, and it's for dry, dull skin. My skin is like, um, dry and oily, but I use it, and let me show you what it looks like. It has small granules in it. And focus. Hold on. Well, I guess it won't. But anyway, it's, it, they're not big. It's not like a sugar scrub or anything. So, and there's no nasty smell. So, and this really works. My pores and everything have improved. Anyway, and then I use a C, after that I rinse my face and I use a C Kelp Facial Toner. Now let me tell you, when they say it's um, very gentle, it's gentle and it really feels refreshing and um, it, it says it purifies, hydrates, and it's balanced. It really does hydrate your skin, it doesn't dry you out. Um, before when I, this other toner I was using, I was actually using it, <clears throat> using a product, I forgot the name of it, but it was from Lush, but my skin, actually I know what it was, it was tea tree oil, it wasn't this type of product, this one doesn't do it, um, it was some tea tree oil facial toner, but my skin was so dry, it was so dry, even when I put moisturizer on, my skin just felt stripped, my skin doesn't feel stripped with this. And trust me, I've seen improvements. It's very liquidy, so I can't really show you. It's kind of like water. And it says what's in it is kelp, algae, 
see a lot of Irish moss, grapefruit, which is an astringent, um, green tea, which is known to be good for you, um, witch hazel, another um, astringent, or I think that's what it's called, but well, anyway, uh, potassium sorbate, and a light fake fragrance. Yeah, it's very light. It's, to me, it doesn't smell like much. So, please check it out. It's Alba C. Kelp Facial Toner. I wonder why it's not focusing. I guess there you go. Alba Facial Toner. And the last thing I put on is Alba C. Lipids Deli Cream. Um, it says it's smooth, firm skin, hyperallergenic. This is two fluent ounces. And it also says it wears well under makeup, and I do agree. And this is the, the container. There we go. This is the container. Um, like I said, and let me show you what it looks like. Very light smell, nothing bad. I haven't had any problems with these um, products at all. Very, very moisturizing. I love it. I definitely recommend it, especially if you're having problems and you're allergic to a lot of um, products out there. Now the um, now this is my facial routine not the scrub all the time that's like once or twice a week if at all but it's good to exfoliate your skin but this is a, as far as I know a healthy line to use out of all the health um, skincare lines that are promoted or whatever and I like the fact it's hypoallergenic I like the fact that it is 100% vegetarian I like the fact that um, it's paraben free so if those are the things that you're interested in looking into please check out Alba they're carried at uh, Whole Foods and also check out Viticost V-I-T-C-O-S-T -T online um, that's where I got these and Whole Foods is kind of quite a drive so I had to order those but I bought this at Whole Foods the facial scrub and I also bought this at Swanson online face tea tree facial um, cleanser which I really suggest so because after using this line my face is not dry it's cleansed it's moisturized I don't have like harsh redness or any type of reaction I really do like this in the Alba line so go check it out and thank you for watching <laughs>